All right, you guys, so today is gonna be kind of a different video. Ooh, I am so scared to make this video because it has some juicy, dramatic details in it, and I'm super, super terrified. And I don't wanna get people in trouble who don't need to be in trouble because it doesn't involve them, but it may or may not get, let's just say it may ruffle some feathers. Okay, what I'm talking about is how I quote, unquote, left the California School for the Blind at the end of my sophomore year. <laughs> now, I'm going to leave you guys in suspense for a while. Um, so, I, was at, I went to the California School for the Blind from the time I was 11 to... Um, just after I turned 16, so the end of my sophomore year. And I think that that was kind of a plan, or I was going to graduate with them, depending on how I was doing. But that was not known until... Drum roll, please. I got kicked out. Yes, I subtly but surely got kicked out. Now... Let me say that I don't think this person works there anymore who did the kicking out, but, and, and that's why I don't want the reputation of the school to go down because of my video, but I think that this needs to be known. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say what happened because it's important for other students to know what happened, even though I don't think this particular teacher was, isn't there is there anymore so all right I'm gonna tell you how I got kicked out so we did this, we did this math tutorial and it was like an algebra group for algebra one um, so at the time I didn't pass algebra because I didn't learn anything I didn't learn how to do it correctly I didn't get it and it just went, instead of going from, like, A to B, C, D, it went from, like, A to D in, like, 2.5 seconds. You know what I mean. You know, if you're a math sufferer like me, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Anyway, so, I'm going to tell you guys the juicy story about why I got kicked out. Yes. Again, I did get kicked out. It was a, it was like a backhanded kick out. <laughs> that's like the best way that I can, um, that's the best way that I can put it. Okay, so. So we were in this algebra group. And this one particular day we didn't have it due to the person who was supposed to be teaching us um, not showing up. I think they had some kind of accident or whatever. And we had to work on our projects. Um, and I had done a massive amount of research over the weekend for this project for the mainstream high school class that we were going to at the regular high school. So it was like a half-day program, right? So what we would do is we would go to the regular high school in the morning, come back early, like mid-morning to for the program, and then stay there until, you know, the school day ended and then go back to the dorms or whatever. But then, so then I would go to the dorm. But this particular day was a Monday, so um, the algebra group, the person wasn't there. And I had a lot of techno technological issues. So there's this thing called a braille note if you're not visually impaired and you don't know what that is. It's a, basically a note taker for the blind. You can go on the internet. You can do all sorts of things with it. Anyway. So this particular day, I had a really big history project due. And over the weekend, my mom had taken me to Barnes & Noble because we didn't have Wi-Fi at the time at the house. And I connected to the Wi-Fi there. And I got a whole bunch of research done, and the teacher that kicked me out said, can I see your report? 
and I I said okay I'm going to go figure out how, how to print it out because I was having trouble accessing it on my braille note and then um, I went to the technology lab where they could help me but they're really busy and they were unable to help me at the moment so I'm like okay and I had braille note issues like I said so I'm like okay can I have a braille note that will turn on so I can print it out and they're like okay so I go back get a braille note that braille note I don't remember what happened I think something was wrong with it and then um my stuff is on a flash drive like a USB drive and I mean obviously I had no braille notes printed out the teacher that kicked me out and wanted to see that report and the research so I what I did was obviously I'm not I wasn't taught very well how to use the computer so I asked the teacher's aide if they can print it out for me which was totally normal and totally fine um having done that later on I was told by the teacher that kicked me out Hey, you know, Angel, you're doing really well in the algebra group, and we decided that you would stay and do your regular classes at the regular high school. And in the back of my mind, I knew that this wasn't the case because I had been doing horribly, um, not passing algebra at all. So I knew something was up. And I think this was around April or March. I don't remember. Or it could have been fair. I don't remember. All I know was 2009. Anyway. I was just really devastated because I knew that wasn't the case. I just didn't know what I had done wrong. Other than nothing. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. Um, and so I said, okay, that's fine. Went back to my regular classes. Did good, honestly. Um, back there. And I... Went to the high school, did everything I needed to do, and then a couple of weeks later, um, it was like probably toward the end of the school year, May, and they were like, hey, uh, no, I was getting calls from schools in my district asking me when I was coming, when I was, when I was planning to do, um, because I was supposed to tour schools to see which one I would go to if I had if I had left the school. And this one school called me and they wanted to get rid of me so quickly that this one school called me and said, hey, when are you coming down? We really want you to come. Hi, it's my dog. Um, <laughs> hello. Anyway, sorry. Mommy's talking on the YouTube camera. <laughs> Say hello. I know. You just want mommy's attention. All my attention. Oh my goodness. Um, and so, okay, I, I was like, okay, I guess I'm going to Terra Nova, which ended up being the most amazing choice of my life. <laughs> um, and so I went there, really excelled, but before that, I, I told everyone that I was leaving and everyone was like, not really surprised. And then I come to find out that... Um, again, I'm not going to say who told me, but I found out from some students who were there that, uh, I had been accused of having the teacher's assistant do my report for me, get all my research and print it out online. And I had done so much amount of work at home. And... That was probably the worst thing, being accused of something I knew I had not done and having to be kicked out of the school that way. So it was like a backhanded slap in the face. I mean, honestly, like who does that? So everyone was telling me, Angel, you need to, you need to call them out. You need to call them out. But I had, I was so afraid to speak out at that school. I just let it be. But now... I'm speaking out about it now because I think it needs to be said. So 
I have no ill will toward the school at all. Just that particular person that decided that they wanted to get rid of me for no apparent reason. Um, falsely accused me of something that I had not done. And, you know, there was just favoritism all around. Um, it was more of like, oh, you know, it, it was funny because they, they were like, yeah, like we saw, they said that they saw you through the window and you asked the, t the staff to do your project and get do the research for you. And I was like, I was so angry and hurt. So honestly, like, that was something that I've had to deal with my whole life. Not my whole life, but you know, the rest of my like up until now, and I've never really spoken up about it publicly, but now I am because I think it's wrong what they did to me and maybe to a lot of other people. Um, and like I said, thankfully that um, teacher isn't there anymore. And if you guys don't believe me, first of all, I'm not gonna lie about this stuff not what it, it's not my intention it's not to make you think badly of the school that's not my intention either um this isn't targeting anyone who works there nor is it targeting the school itself um i just want my feelings to be known that that was not okay and the fact that i put so much work into a project and someone accusing me of having someone else do it for me. That was the worst feeling ever. Um, and it kind of ruined my reputation. I don't know if I really necessarily had a good reputation over there because I was kind of known to, okay, I guess there's there's some unresolved Things that I need to let off my chest but that's kind of for another video I mean let's just say that there were counselors that didn't like me and made me associate with the group of people that nobody wanted to hang out with um, so I mean I was always friendly to those people but I was looked down upon for being friendly to those people, but that's another story for a different video. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. Um, if I decide to post this, because I'm really scared, but I think I might. Um, and if you have any questions, you can always ask me again. I'm not lying about the situation. I'm not over exaggerating. This is exactly what happened. And it was very traumatic for me. Um, so if you guys want to know more, if I missed out anything, you can ask me. Um, I will say during the transition meeting, everyone was telling me to call them out at that meeting, but I couldn't. I just sat there in silence and that particular moment wasn't brought up, but... I knew what I was there for, and I knew the reason why I was there at that meeting sooner than I had expected, and I couldn't have done anything regardless if I had said something or not, because I wouldn't have been believed. That also goes back to another story, um, which I will talk about in my next video, probably. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And turn on your notifications if you want to see the next video. Thank you.